And it's my pleasure to start uh, and welcome HiConnect. Uh, HiConnect uh, won, uh, won a funding at the German show Hülle der Löwen, uh, the, the German equivalent for Shark Tank. I don't know if you know the, the American original. And they developed a very special connector for connecting metal and composite structures. And it's my pleasure to welcome Felix Michaelis, uh, project engineer, and I look forward to your presentation. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. Uh, thanks for attending this presentation. Um, in the next minutes, I want to introduce our unique and uh, new Faust system and uh, show how we at High Connect see our contribution for more lightweight construction and sustainability. As you know, current products face the challenge of meeting a more sustainable yet economical demand. And to overcome this challenge, new design concepts as well as new materials and joining processes need to be implemented. And the easy integration of lightweight structures in work products is one way to do so. And we think hybrid joining systems may help to boost such new designs due to easy assembly processes. But first, let's speak about circular economy. Um, what is circular economy? Um, circular economy, uh, when we think about circular economy, we think that circular economy has many facets and not all of them are familiar to us. Um, typically, when we think about it, we think about recycling, we think about reusing the base materials again to create a new product. But there's more that can be done for circular economy. Making parts long-lasting, reuse them, refurbish them, and what we at HiConnect think is the most important, to make them as fit for purpose as possible. And these purposes could be stiffness, could be endurance, adding additional functionalities, lightweight. We all know that composite materials offer these properties, especially when aiming for lightweight designs. But as we all know, Many current designs in automotive and transport and the maritime industry are built by using metals. And that is also for a good reason, because metals offer many excellent properties as well, but sometimes they are limited in certain designs. And to solve that, you often need an alternative. The challenge is to have group of materials which offer superior properties for different applications in only one product. But how to use them? By joining. But how to join a fiber reinforced plastic and the metal? We all know the current answer. It's mostly by using adhesive bonding and bolting. But, sorry to say that, that is not always the best way to do so. We thought that something is missing um, to connect fibers and metals in a proper way, the missing link. So we created a different solution to join fibers and metals by knitting them together. Um, so we create a hybrid fabric, which within itself is mechanically interlocked and able to transfer loads. And this hybrid fabric you can see here consists of only reinforcement fibers on one side and pure metal on the other side. Um, so um, in this example you can see our 
hybrid fabric consisting of glass fibers and stainless steel fibers. And we are also able to do uh, other fiber systems such as uh, natural fibers, uh, basalt or flux. And, but, but where does the magic happen? Um, the magic happens that you can weld that hybrid fabric onto a customized metal profile, which creates our so-called Faust connector. And you can weld it to different metals, to different uh, steel alloys, to different uh, aluminum alloys, and you're um, not limited um, within the thickness. So you can weld it to 0 0.50 millimeters for the automotive sector, up to 12 millimeter thickness plates um, for the defense sector. And then you integrate that into your composite process. For example, um, in the vacuum and fusion process, you just add the connector elements to the layup, add your matrix system, and you get a lightweight structure ready to be welded, bolted, or screwed to metal structures. Faust offers the only option to weld composite structures to metals. But of course we are not limited to welding because you can also realize other metal, metal, metal to metal joints. And moreover, by riveting or bolting metal to metal, the joints keep long lasting even if your lightweight structure often needs to be removed or changed. Let us think for one moment not about the big industries who always have the potential and budget to integrate and implement new processes such as adhesive bonding. Let's think about the many, many SMEs we have in Europe. We want them to use lightweight design as well, without having to invest in new processes. And to show you um, how easy the use of Faust is, I want you to have a look at this short showcase where we built a, a fire container as a part of a feasibility study for the maritime and the railway industry. How to make easy hybrid products and how to make composites weldable. This is was what most of you know and what I mentioned before. It's the vacuum infusion process you can see there. And you just add your, your fast joining elements to, to the layup. You infuse your metric system and what you get are FAP panels. And what separates them from the standard now is that they now have a metal collar ready to be welded, screwed, or bolted to structures. And by using metal frameworks, which besides offer a good stiffness and easy installation methods, you can create easy and in a fast way, fire safe, light vo lightweight volume structures. By adding additional functionalities, such as core materials, sensors, fire protection systems, you can create FRP panels, which are lighter, have a higher endurance, and need very, very little rework compared to metal structures with the same functionalities. And of course, to ensure maximum safety, we had all these configurations tested. Um, as I mentioned before, it was a part of a feasibility study um, for the railway and the maritime industry, and we built a, a showcase fire container. And we ele elevated the assembly, and the, the, the fabrication, and also the, the behavior in case of fire. And um, it was a comparison between a pure aluminum wall and a FRP panel with fast connectors and, 
um, with fast connectors and uh, the fire protection system from, from Zatex. Um, yeah, I know the comparison is kept a little bit unfair because the aluminium wall was not insulated, but that was also for a special reason, because in certain maritime regulations, aluminium is stated as non-combustible. And as you saw in the first video, it's definitely not the best way to, to act so. Um, here you see the fire test um, at the MPR Dresden in Freiburg. And we used the Hapton pool fire, uh, which reaches over 1,100 degrees Celsius after a very short time. And you can see clearly that the, the aluminium wall fails um, after two or three minutes um, and loses its completely structural integrity. While the green FOP panel retains its integrity and kept dimensionally stable also after the fire. Of course, we had the mechanical properties tested afterwards and we could not find any significant differences in strength. The development of different lightweight solutions offers to the transport industry a real chance to upgrade the standards according to the increasing demands on safety and fuel consumption. Multi-material mix based, uh, multi-material solutions based on multi-material mixes offer a wide range of candidates and possibilities for lightweight construction, for transport industry and beyond. To summarize, from an industrial demand, we took funding from the ministry and created something new that lines up with bonding and bolting. Our goal is to boost lightweight in a way that such composite structures can be easily joined, but also dissembled, repaired and reused. And this is the contribution of Faust and High Connect to a more circular economy. We see Faust as a turnkey solution for the spread and establishment of lightweight as a key technology, especially in SME. This ends my presentation. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Michaelis. Very interesting uh, talk. Um, I, I have accompanied, accompanied Faust and your, sto your, your story a little bit uh, um, uh, back in the days. You won an award and started our event three years ago for the initial development of, of Faust, uh, our CFK Valley Innovation Award back in the days. And I think it's important, you oftentimes after projects you have very impressive demonstrators, it works, uh, project result looks very shiny and nice, but in the end it's these element, elements that really enable uh, the progress of lightweight design because at the shipyard, if they want to use composites, they will ask you, the, the craftsmen will ask you, okay, can I weld it? And you can answer yes. So. Um, I think it's I think it's I think it's these details that are very important, and you're addressing now a very major second concern, the, the fire safety issue. So, but I don't want to talk too long. Are there questions? We still have time for questions. Please use the microphones at each of the, si the sides. If you have questions, I do, of course, have a question. <laughs> so, uh, it's it, as I said, I, I've, I've followed you for quite a few years already. Uh, what are the next steps? So, you're, you're working on, on fire safety, you're working on the, I mean, the, the connector is uh, developed, uh, fire safety looks like you're on the good way. Um, you're addressing, you mentioned it, railway industry, uh, ship industry, um, uh, maritime industry. Uh, what's next? So we are actu actually working on, on different projects with, uh, with different partners and yeah, that is why we used um, this showcase because we are not allowed to show the other showcases because the, the big industry players don't want to show uh, what they're actually working yes. on. But we are working in, in the railway industry with a, with a big German um, manufacturer, so we are working together with an with a automotive company, um, from the south of Germany who makes sports cars and yeah so we have different projects 
And um, during the, 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 the pandemic, we saw that there's quite a long approach um, to, to realize projects and to, to work together. So we are still working um, on these projects and we're hoping to, to make the next steps, yeah. And I, I assume it's very versatile because you can use multiple metals and combine it with multiple composite sandwich structures, right? Yeah. I mean, exchange fibers, uh, exchange metals, and it's, it's, it's very... It's yeah, very these are the next steps to, to, to try flux, to try basalt, to try um, aramid, yeah, and for you defense don't, industry. And you don't have to drill holes in the in yeah, yeah, composite, yeah, yeah. right? So that's what no one wants to do. So, yeah, um, any... Any questions from the audience? There's a question. Stefan Schmidt from Open Hyped Left Factory. Uh, thanks for your presentation. I have a question about, uh, I was a little bit too late, so sorry for that, um, about the sustainability, um, the thinking here um, with your material and the connection. Why is it so sustainability, so sustainable? Um, so it, it, it enables um, more lightweight and due to more lightweight, it's, it's the, the part our contribute. But in, the, in the transportation sector, it's not the weight, it's the volume, the most restriction usually. If I think on the cargo uh, freight, it's, it's not the weight. And the, the repairability of the panels, I think it could be an issue also. Yeah, but you can use standard systems to, to repair the panel and our connection method um, depends on only, you, you don't add uh, adhesive, you only have the, the reinforcement fibers and the metal fibers and you can separate them afterwards. So you're working on recycling yeah. uh, uh, concepts? Yeah. Okay. Okay, thanks. Well, then thank you very, thank much. You very much for your interesting presentation. Um, and if, if there are any questions later on, feel free to contact Mr. Michaelis in the breaks.